All right, this is Andrew at Jota Home Inspection. We're doing a sewer scope today here in Salt Lake. We're at 1466 Van Buren. We have the camera pushed out just shy of 100 feet to the city connection. And now we're going to record it and pull it back and see what we find. This first connection point is called the nose on. That's where it goes from your lateral line into the main city line. Looks like a good connection there. Uh, right off the bat, a little bit of a offset where these pipes have separated a little bit. This looks like clay pipe. One of the issues with clay is that it comes in three or four foot sections and so you have a lot of joints. Uh, when you have a lot of joints there's a lot more potential for roots to come in or to get offset for the pipes to lip. You can see kind of more shoulder on the left side of this pipe and on the top. And when you get offset, that's a spot where waste could collect and create a blockage. Honestly, for the age of this house, this clay is looking pretty decent. No standing water, which is great. That indicates you have proper grade. Uh, you also have some cast iron under the house um, that doesn't look as, as good. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. Interesting. So 63 feet out. I'm not sure if that's an access point. Possibly a clean out out in the yard. Um, there's a possibility it's a shared line where that's a neighboring line feeding in. A little bit of debris, which points more towards it being a shared line. 63 feet out. Thinking about how close you are to any neighbors. It's a possibility. Downside, if it is a shared line, I mean, you can't control what they're putting down the line. Uh, a lot of insurance will not cover you if you want to insure your sewer line which I would definitely recommend here. Uh, a little bit of an offset. You can see all that standing water. Also you can see how if I just push the camera down it hits that spot and doesn't easily flow over it. There it flies over it. Um, just like my camera gets stuck there, weight can also get stuck. Another one there. Little tiny roots on each side. Probably not big enough to clean those yet. I would talk to the city and see if they have any record of the line and if it's shared. Now we are transitioning to cast iron. This cast iron is probably the weakest link. Uh, as you can see it looks real rough and rusty. Uh, not only can that be concealing cracks that we can't see, uh, all that rust can catch debris. There you have some toilet paper or wet wipes stuck in the line. You certainly don't want to put any wet wipes down this line or feminine hygiene products. Nothing down the line that you don't absolutely need to put down. I would recommend having this cast iron cleaned. You could have it coated, which will cut off all that rust and make it smooth. But certainly eventually this line will need to be replaced eventually. A little standing water. That could be bad grade. It could just be from the buildup. Um, you would have a better idea once it has been cleaned. Uh, it looks like a, you can't tell if that's a blockage or build up or what that shoulder is on the left side of the pipe. That's another area that you want to have looked at once it's cleaned. Uh, the cast iron looks pretty poor. Um, it, it's hard to say how bad and how much of that would come off of the cleaning, but I would say at a minimum you want to have it cleaned and then reevaluated now while you are still in your due diligence time. Now that way if there is a bigger issue you can, you know, still have the possibility to negotiate and talk to the seller about it. Uh, and then in either case I'd also recommend having the insurance on this line unless you, you know, fully replace the line, but um, 
If you have any of the original pipe left, I would recommend having the insurance on it. I'm going to end this recording now.